Before we get into my month of exercise, I just wanted to let you know that my summer merch collection is here. We have four all new items available now at confidentandkind.com. Hello my friends and welcome back to another video. Today is May 1st and the start of me trying to exercise every day for 30 days and document it to share with you guys. So every day this month, I wanna try to connect with my body through really any form of joyful movement, be it walking, dancing, jumping, running, biking, anything really. <laughs> and I wanna try to mix it up a lot this month too, try some new and different forms of exercise and really just have fun with it. Because my goal with this month is not to like force myself to do these really intense workouts every day, but it's just that extra like little push, that extra 10% of motivation to move and connect with my body. And while I'm doing this, I'm gonna try and close my Apple Watch rings every day, which means I have to actually remember to wear my Apple Watch every day, which we're already off to a bad start. Hold on, there we go. I forgot to charge it last night. It's on like 70%, hopefully that's enough. On the Apple Watch, you basically just set goals for three different categories. Stand, which is standing for at least one minute in each hour. Exercise, which is measured by getting your heart rate above a certain point for whatever amount of minutes you have it set for. And the move ring, which measures your movement throughout the day in calories. For some people who've struggled with EDs, using calories as a measurement can be really triggering. So do just be aware of that. I'm not gonna be talking about that or really focusing on calories in this video, but it is there. It's just how the Apple Watch works. I wish you could change it to like steps, like a, a pedometer. I feel like that would be really cool. Apple, get on it. Anyways, I've challenged myself to do this before to get a perfect month on my Apple Watch. And it's always been super motivating for me. I think it's like the, the gamification of it. Seeing those little rings close every day really motivates me. The only thing I have to be careful of is that I don't put too much weight into the game of closing the rings every day. I wanna try to get 30 perfect days, but if I don't, if I miss a day, I'm not just gonna give up, all is not lost. Then I'll go for 29 days or 28 or 27 and so on. So today is day one, week one, here we go. Day one, we took Grace to a street fair, did quite a bit of walking there, and then also played a little bit of basketball at my brother's house in the evening, which surprisingly was enough to almost double my 30 minute exercise goal for the day. I logged 52 minutes, so my rings were closed and I, I didn't even really feel like I had to try. Day two, Monday, I started my day with a 30 minute Peloton ride, which was such a nice way to kind of center myself and, and carve out some me time in the morning. Grace and I also went Went to Legoland that day and the aquarium, so I did some walking there. And then day three, Tuesday, I had a really busy day planned, and I knew that if I did not get a workout done in the morning, it was probably not gonna happen at all. So, although I am not a morning person, I set my alarm for 6 a.m., and as tired as I was when my alarm first went off, once I drank a Celsius, got on the bike, got my body moving, Got a little bit of motivation from Cody Rigsby, one of my favorite Peloton instructors. Have a little fun, sing a little song, shake a little titty, let's get it. I felt really good and the, the tiredness pretty much went away. But uh, there was a problem. I noticed halfway through my ride, my watch wasn't measuring my exercise or my movement at all. And I don't know why, because it was measuring my heart rate. And my heart rate was within like the exercise zone for me, but it said zero for exercise and for movement. I, I, I decided just to keep riding. It figured I'd worry about it later. And I thought maybe it would update after the ride, but it most certainly did not. <laughs> I did not wake up early and bust my ass with Cody Riggs be to miss day three of closing my rings. Absolutely not. Hopefully I can find a way to get this added. I'm gonna uh, confer with IT Steve. <laughs> Maybe he knows how to fix it. And this is one of those things where I think I just put a little bit too much stock in the gamification of trying to close my Apple Watch rings and feeling like I need to get credit for a workout for it to be worth it. And here's the thing, even if my Apple Watch doesn't measure the exercise, that doesn't matter. I still did the exercise. And that's what matters. Moving my body, connecting with my body, carving out that time for myself, not getting a little green dot on my watch at the end of the day. <laughs> that being said though, I did get my rings closed. About an hour after my Peloton, 
Peloton ride, the exercise randomly popped up on my watch. Still not the movement, but it did start measuring my movement after that, and so I was able to get my rings closed. Day four was a super sedentary day. It was a work day. I was at my computer a lot. This was the progress of my rings at 2 p.m. But on Wednesdays, that's when Kenzie comes in and works with me, and so after work, we like to go to the gym together. And tonight we did Zumba, which was more than enough to get my rings closed. 61 minutes of exercise. We were moving and grooving and Zumba in, Zumba in, Zumba in, Zumba in. We, we were exercising. <laughs> Zumba is a, a dance fitness class to Latin music. And I feel like it was really popular in like 2010, but no one really talks about it anymore. And it deserves more hype because it is so fun. It's a really great workout. And I definitely cannot keep up with every move, but that's totally okay. I try my best, I just have fun, and I, I try not to take it too seriously. Which I find, at least for me, is a lot easier to do when I'm with a friend. It just feels less intimidating, it's easier for me to let loose. And so Wednesdays with Kenzie is definitely my favorite time to try like an actual structured class. Day five, I did a Disney-themed Peloton ride in the morning, which was such a fun way to start my day. Got my rings closed and got me like primed and hyped as if I didn't already need to be hyped to go to Disneyland. But uh, day six and seven, Friday and Saturday, we spent at Disneyland. It was such an amazing trip. It was our first time with Grace, which was just so freaking magical. If you want to see all about it, we did vlog. So I'm going to put a card for that up there and a link in the description. But yeah, uh, needless to say, I got my rings closed and then some, both of those days, we did so much walking at Disney. And then day eight, I'm going to include in this week. So then we can end on a Sunday, which is how the Apple Watch measures a week. We played pickleball and basketball with my family, which felt so good and like really woke up my body. Before that, I just felt like a walking zombie recovering from Disneyland, <laughs> very much in a fog. And with how tired I was, I think if, if I had done like a, a regular solo workout, I probably would have been struggling to find motivation, not fully enjoying it, just kind of doing the bare minimum. But I love playing sports and my competitiveness definitely takes over. So I was just having fun, you know, running around with my family. And I think because of that, I, I did more exercise. I wasn't moving my body because I had to, because I'm doing a video, because I, I have to close my rings, but because I wanted to, and it was fun and I wanted to win. <laughs> I really want to start incorporating more sports into my exercise. I enjoy it so much, but I think after high school, when I stopped playing sports competitively, I just kind of stopped viewing it as an option in my mind. Like why would I play sports if it wasn't for a team? <laughs> but it's a great option. It's a great way to move my body and I, I thoroughly enjoy it. So hopefully I'll be doing more exercise like that in the coming weeks. But yeah, overall, I feel like week one went pretty well. It was pretty easy. I feel like the only day I really dragged my feet was day three with the 6 a.m. workout. And I'm feeling good and ready and uh, excited to get into week two. So here we go. Day nine, I just totally forgot to put my watch on until like 10.30. So I came dangerously close to missing my stand hours, but we got it done. And for my exercise, I went to the gym. I did the bike, some weight machines, and finished off with the elliptical. And this was just such a great workout. I had been taking care of Grace all day, so getting to carve out a little bit of me time in the evening to just zone out and work out and connect with my body I, was so nice. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Day 10 was a close one. Today is the first day that I am coming very, very close to not closing my rings, not doing any exercise. It is 10, 15 at night. I just finished work. We, we had this big photo shoot all day, which was so much fun, but I woke up for that at six. So I didn't work out in the morning. I thought I would have time after the shoot, had to jump into some work stuff upstairs. And I, now I'm finally getting a, a little bit of a chance to have some me time. If it wasn't for, you know, trying to keep up my streak and this challenge. Today is definitely a day that I would not work out, but we're doing it. I, I need 25 more minutes of exercise. So 25 minute Peloton ride it is, <laughs> and then I'm going to sleep. So I did a nice scenic ride through the Italian Alps. In the dark though, because I was afraid that if I turned on the light, it might wake Grace up. But I got my exercise in and got those rings closed. 
Day 11 was the second day of our rebrand shoot, but my call time was much later because in the morning we were shooting solo shots of Ryan and Paloma who co-host my podcast with me. If you didn't know, yes, my podcast is back. I am so excited about it. It is so much fun. I love having that space to just have conversations with my friends. And we're in the process of rebranding. That's what, you know, the, the big photo shoots were for. So everything's gonna be changing in a couple weeks, but uh, I'm gonna put a card for our newest episode up there. Give it a listen, let me know what you think. But um, anyways, call time was later, so I went to the gym in the morning. I got my body warmed up with 10 minutes on the elliptical, and then I did some strength circuits. Weights, medicine ball throws, wall sits, goblet squats, all things kind of in that realm. And circuit training is definitely my favorite. Like I love how fast it moves. It's not repetitive. The second I get bored of one exercise, I'm moving on to the next. And I feel like it, it just makes me feel like strong and powerful. Day 12, Kenzie and I decided to uh, go out on a whim and try something new, a water aerobics class. So I don't I don't wanna jump the gun, but I think we might have a new favorite workout class. I loved it. <laughs> I, I loved, loved it. it. Like five minutes in, Kenzie and I both looked at each other and we're like, this is so fun. So, no, like before we even got in the pool, we're like, all right. Okay, this, this, this is fun. Class ever. <laughs> it's so nice too, because I feel like we were getting a good workout, but you're not getting sweaty because no, you're in the water. No, it's fun. It like, it like took me back to like, like playing in the pool as like a kid. Yes. Like it was so fun. There was this one, so we were using a combination of the pool noodle, uh, float weights, and a resistance band. And there was this one exercise where they had us balancing our knees on the pool noodle and then like butterfly stroking. Mm -hmm. Through. Which was so hard. Yeah, but so hard. it reminded me of a game that me and my brother used to play in the pool when we were like 10. Well, and it brings out like the fun competitive side where yes. she's like, race, and we're all just like, oh, you like my favorite one. <laughs> they had us get in pairs and one person had the resistance band around their waist and the other person was behind them holding just on. Trying to like hold while the other person tried <laughs> to like swim away. And I dragged Kenzie across the pool. Literally all the way across the pool. I was like taking in water. <laughs> Kenzie was like, I'm about to water ski. Yeah. It was so fun. We were so giggly, but I feel like we did actually get a good workout. I, I genuinely feel like that's the best arm workout I've ever done. Like my arms oh my are going to fall off. Yeah. It was, it was a lot of strength, a lot of balance and some cardio. The arm stuff was hard. <laughs> my, like my arms feel like jello. Yeah. Right <laughs> I also really liked the instructor. Yeah. I feel like that class, like I don't know. It was just fun because you can be giggly. You can like, you're, you're doing it, but you can like, you're also like with your friend. It wasn't like soup, like so structured to where it's like, you feel like you can't say anything or laugh. Like we had fun. Yes. We definitely was, had a lot like of fun. More <laughs> laid back than some other classes. Yeah. And it was an older crowd, which we expected. I think we were definitely the youngest there by like a couple decades. Yeah. Oh, easily. <laughs> easily. Like 40, 40 years. But I feel like we fit in, you know, I, I, I vibed with that. Yeah. We, we made like, some friends. Yeah. Um, uh, safe to say, I think we, we will be back. We'll be back. <laughs> Got those rings closed and can confirm my arms were definitely sore the next day. And also I definitely want to go back. It was so much fun. Day 13, I uh, forgot to put my watch on in the morning again. Oops. <laughs> but I did a great Peloton pop ride with Cody Rigsby and we took Grace on a walk at the duck pond. So rings closed. Day 14 was a really active day. I started my morning off with a Peloton ride and and then we played pickleball at my parents' house. And this was the most exercise my watch has measured so far this month. I ended the day with 136 minutes of exercise. And who knows how accurate that is, but I feel like it was somewhat close because I was so tired at the end of the day. My legs were a little sore. My body was tired. I was like ready for bed at 8 p.m. <laughs> Sunday, day 15, I woke up really early for a Peloton ride before we headed out for a long drive to Arizona. And I am so glad that I did because sitting in a car all day can just kind of make me feel bleh. So it was so nice to get some movement into my body before we left. And I made sure to stand up and walk around at every stop. So I got my stand hours. And now I'm sitting here in my hotel room, rings closed. Another solid week. I've closed my rings every day and we're halfway through the month. I'm feeling really good. I'm, I'm a little nervous for this week though. Squeezing an exercise while traveling can be really Really hard, but I really want to keep the streak going. So tomorrow starts week three. Wait, actually, I need one more stand hour. Now my rings are closed. Yay! <laughs> Day 
Week three, kicking it off with Monday, day 16. Well, actually, um, didn't end up kicking off the week the way I had planned. I meant to wake up at seven and go to the hotel gym before Steven and Grace were even awake, but Grace had a hard night. We were up with her a lot and I just slept through my alarms. We finally woke up at nine and I raced off to the gym. I kept my workout at 30 minutes since we were short on time. Just 15 minutes on the treadmill and then 15 minutes of strength circuits. And even though it was really quick, I'm glad that I still went. I'm glad I carved out this time. And I think this is a workout I would have just skipped if it wasn't for, you know, trying to keep the streak going, trying to do this challenge for the video. It would have been really easy to just be like, well, slept through my workout, on with the day. But I think having that time for myself in the morning before such a, a social day, like just having that quiet time for myself, it was just really, really nice. And I ended the day with 41 minutes of exercise logged on my watch. I think that other 11 minutes must have come from me just running up the stairs for the water slide over and over and over again. Day 17, I actually woke up early, worked out in the hotel gym at 6.30 before the conference started. I did the bike and arm circuit and finished up with the elliptical. Got those rings closed. Day 18 was such a fun and unexpected workout. So one of my content creator friends, her name's Eden, she lives in Arizona and she boxes every single morning. So a group of us from the conference decided to mob over with her for her Wednesday morning class. And oh my gosh, it was so fun and hard and empowering. Like I was sweating so much. I felt like I was really pushing myself and connecting with my body in a more aggressive kind of way that I'm not really used to, but I very much liked. It was just awesome. I, I've only tried boxing once before and it was at a, a rumble class in LA. If any of you guys saw that video, I think it's like two years old now, but I'll link it in the description if you wanna see it. This was uh, only my second brush with boxing and I loved it. Like I kinda wanna find a boxing gym near me and do a workout like this again because I, I just, I felt really alive. I also had a pretty active day after that too. Not workouts, but just like more movement based activities. We did these really physical escape rooms at this place called Bam Kazam and that was super fun. We also hit some balls at Top Golf and uh, lots more running up the stairs for the water slides. And my watch logged all of that at uh, 90 minutes of exercise. Day 19. So I had planned on waking up early and hitting up the hotel gym before we started the drive home, but I was so so tired and drained when I woke up. I hit snooze so fast. And I was like, you know what? I can easily just do a quick Peloton ride when I get home. It'll probably feel good after being in the car so long. But uh, by the time we got home at 8 p.m., I very much regretted that decision. I should have worked out in the morning. I should have woke up early, did a workout before we started the drive because oh my gosh, am I not in the mood to get on the Peloton bike right now? But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pull out that little bit of motivation that I can find deep, deep inside and do this workout, keep the streak going. Here we go. You know what, as, as much as I was dragging my feet to get on the bike, once I got moving, it actually did feel kinda nice. <laughs> I'm tired, but it was a really stationary day, so actually getting some movement in my body, I, I think it was really needed. Day 20, I kept it simple. I just took Grace on a little walk with the stroller, and it was so nice. I, I used to do this like almost every morning, and I think I just fell out of the habit of it. Like I, you know, I got kinda busy this month, a lot going on, and that was something that I just kind of pushed to the wayside. And I wish I didn't because this walk reminded me how much I value that time. It's so good for us. Like I get, you know, just some chill, low impact movement. Grace and I get some fresh air. We get a change of scenery. And it's one of the only types of movement that I can do while taking care of Grace. So really want to get back in the habit of that. Day 21, Saturday, I took Grace to the San Diego Safari Park for a few hours. We have passed 
houses there and it is such a nice place to walk. Grace loves seeing all the animals. So that was really great and we walked a lot, some with the stroller, some with me just carrying her. And originally I had planned to do a Peloton ride that evening, but when I got home, I was pretty tired. I felt satisfied with the amount of movement and exercise I had gotten just walking around the safari park. And my rings were closed, so uh, I just called it a day. Day 22, Steven and I took Grace to Legoland in the aquarium, got some exercise walking around there. But unlike the day before, I didn't feel quite satisfied. I wanted to move my body more. So I did a 20 minute Peloton ride when we got home and that was the end of the week. So rings closed every day so far and I am feeling really proud of myself for continuing the streak through the conference. I really enjoyed having that time to just connect with my body in the morning and set aside a little bit of time for me. And actually um, an aspect of this that I didn't expect was I think it really helped with my mental health. So if you didn't know, I have bipolar disorder and with that routine disruptors, like anything that kind of sets me off my normal schedule it can be a big struggle for me. It can sometimes trigger a depressive episode. So after a trip or a life event or getting sick, I just have a really hard time resetting, getting back in a groove. But I think with this trip, keeping exercise as just a daily constant in my schedule while I was traveling, it, it gave me some, some semblance of structure. And I think it helped keep me from having like a huge crash when I came home. I still had a little, like not not quite a crash, but like a, a dip in my mental health, but it was not as bad as I expected. And I think that's a, a really important correlation for me to take note of. And that's something I've, I've worked a lot on in therapy is identifying, you know, what those things are that kind of soften the highs and the lows of my cycles with bipolar disorder and being proactive about those things as a coping mechanism and having even just this little bit of consistency in my routine while I was traveling, I think was really helpful. All right, we're on the home stretch week four and also week five is two days. So I'm just gonna include that here. Day 23, I started my day taking Grace on a walk at the duck pond. And then in the evening, Kenzie and I did water aerobics again, which was just as fun as the first time. Here's me uh, awkwardly trying to demonstrate some of the exercise after we finished the class. Day 24 was Safari Park round two. We went with a group from Grace's play group, some walking. And then in the evening, Stephen Grace and I went and walked on a trail by the beach, which was so beautiful. So even though literally all I did this day was walk, I, I logged a good amount of exercise. Day 25, I went to the gym in the morning, got warmed up on the treadmill, and then I did some strength circuits. Today, I focused on legs and glutes. Also did some machines in my circuit, which I could not for the life of me get a good shot of. I tried many different angles um, and then just finished with 10 minutes on the elliptical. Day 26, I just did a quick 15 minute Peloton ride in the morning, just enough to like wake up my body a little bit before a lot of time in the car. Kenzie and I were taking a, a little impromptu road trip up to LA. We needed to pick up our final samples of the crop tops from our manufacturer. And then on the way home, we went to Disneyland. We got some really cute shots in the new merch. This is our summer collection, which just dropped. We have the crop tops in two colors, blue and purple, sizes extra small to 5X. I wanted these to be size inclusive, high quality, and made ethically and sustainably, which made the process of getting these made so long, but it is so worth it. They're seriously amazing, and we partnered directly with an ethical manufacturer in LA to make sure that these were being produced responsibly. Each shirt is hand sewn by a seamstress, and the fabric is also hand dyed. So every shirt is unique. They're incredibly soft and comfortable, designed to have that just nice, comfy, loose, slightly oversized fit without needing to size up. And in addition to the crop tops, we also launched this embroidered hat and this printed tote bag. I, I'm just so in love with all four of our new pieces. So excited that they're here. Cannot wait to see you guys rock them. Um, but anyways, 
exercise. That is what this video is about. Uh, we did a lot of walking at Disneyland, but my watch died at 7 p.m. I barely got my sand ring before it died and didn't get to track any of my movement for the rest of our evening. But oh well, I mean, we kept the street going, so <laughs> could have been worse. Day 27, I took Grace to Legoland. We walked around a bit there. Not enough exercise to close my rings though, so I did a Peloton ride in the evening. Day 28, we played some pickleball in the morning with my family. Just so much fun and, and got my rings closed, no problem. Day 29, I was having a really hard day. We decided to just go on a little family walk and that was really, really nice. I got some movement in my body, some fresh air, and I definitely came home just feeling better and lighter. And it, it made me feel like I had accomplished something by continuing the streak and closing my rings. Even though I wasn't in the best headspace, I felt like there was still something that I was accomplishing. Day 30 was another hard day and I figured I'd go on a walk again since that had helped so much the day before. And the walk was lovely and Grace and I played at the park after, but uh, this, this, this is so disappointing. No, 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 no. I am so mad right now. So mad at myself. I got in bed last night at like 8 p.m., but that I wasn't gonna go to bed. Grace had just went down. I was just gonna scroll TikTok for a little bit. I still needed to get one more stand hour. Uh, my exercise ring was closed, movement ring was closed. Just needed one more hour of standing uh, to finish out the day, which I thought would be no problem. You know, I'd, I'd sit in bed for a little bit, then go out in the living room or go up to my office. Um, but I, I fell asleep right there, face unwashed, uh, did not charge my watch, still wearing it. And worst part, that, that stand ring went unclosed, which means I did not close my rings for the day, which means although I did exercise every freaking day, I am not getting my perfect month. I'm so mad. It was one freaking minute of standing. That's all I needed. I tried to go in with the attitude of, you know, the, the watch is just a fun thing. It really doesn't matter that much. It's about the moving and connecting with my body. And I need to remember that because right now I'm just annoyed that I'm not gonna get my my little achievement badge. And on day 30 too, the, the second to last day of the month, I guess yesterday was technically like the end of, you know, the challenge that I set for myself for the video because I had said I was going to do 30 days, but May has 31 days. Although I will not be getting my perfect month award, I'm still going to finish this month and, and this video out strong. I'm going to keep wearing my watch. I'm going to close those rings. Kenzie and I are meeting at the gym tonight and I'm going to try to remember that uh, that is what it's all about. That, that time for myself, that movement into my body, getting those endorphins going, not uh, getting all of my rings closed but I'm mad. So disappointing. I, I am so disappointed that I missed that one freaking stand hour. So as annoyed as I am right now, honestly, maybe it's better for the narrative of this video that I, I didn't get the perfect month on my Apple Watch. I really enjoyed this challenge though. And I feel like I, I kept it pretty realistic for me. You know, I, I pushed myself a little bit, but I don't think I went overboard. Some days my exercise was literally just taking Grace to the safari park or Legoland. And other days I, I did a, like a full on workout. And I did a, a good variety of workouts too. Water aerobics, Peloton, boxing, weight circuits, Zumba. It was a lot of fun and I'm ending this month feeling pretty good about my body. Like I feel really connected to it. Low key struggling with my mental health right now, but uh, physically, I feel great. As for the Apple Watch part of it, I think the the gamification of the rings really kept me motivated, especially on those days where I may not have fit a workout in otherwise. And while I didn't get the perfect month this month, it's something that I have done, I think like three or four times and something I wanna continue challenging myself to do every now and then. But I don't think trying for a perfect month every month would be a healthy mindset for me personally. I think I just get a little bit too wrapped up in, you know, feeling like I need to keep my streak going and 
kind of feeling like a failure when I don't. I like to try and do some form of movement every day. It's not how I value myself as a person, but it's something that makes me feel really good and something I really enjoy. And the Apple Watch, I think, helps me with that, but also I think can be a, a slippery slope to feeling ashamed when I don't exercise or like a failure if I don't close my rings every day. But it's good to take rest days. It's fine to miss workouts. It's fine to have some days that are just stagnant. And that doesn't make me a failure. That just, that just makes me a human. <laughs> All movement is good movement, whether it's every day or a couple times a week, low impact, high impact. It's good for me to just move my body and connect with it for the joy of doing it and not to close my freaking rings, even though I really freaking wish I closed my rings. <laughs> that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye.